So the chair now recognizes herself for five minutes. Um, and I'm going to be brief because I know it's been a long morning. Um, uh, congratulations to all of you, and thank you so much for being here. Um, Mr. Barr, I'm going to direct my questions to you. I want to follow up on the conversations that you and I had when we met around um, CRA. I think, um, as, as I indicated when we spoke, um, I was very happy to see the Fed and the FDIC and the OCC come together uh, earlier this month, I think it was, to propose new rules for um, implementing the Community Reinvestment Act. I think this is long overdue, something that is very important to do. And I want to just um, follow up on this. Um, you know, I, I think the pandemic has really shown us how stark the, um, the need is and how the challenges of our economy have not fallen disproportionately on everybody in our economy. Um, because of the pandemic, that it is um, uh, rural and um, majority minority communities that have had the greatest impact, which is what the CRA was designed to really um, address. So could you talk to me a little bit, talk to us a little bit about um, if you were confirmed how you'll be joining the Fed midway through the rulemaking progress. I'd like to understand a little bit about what your focus would be and what your priorities would be with regard to CRA implementation. Uh, thank you very much, um, uh, Senator. I appreciate the question. Uh, I think the Community Reinvestment Act uh, has played an important role in, in helping uh, banks and, and thrifts around the country over the years uh, to serve uh, all their communities. And uh, I was very encouraged by the Community Reinvestment Act draft rule. If confirmed as, as vice chair and as a governor, I'd be working with my colleagues, uh, both at the Fed and, and at the other agencies, uh, to seek and and to to understand and to evaluate all the public comment uh, that that I hope the agencies get um, uh, uh, to understand uh, the the effects on the banking sector and the effects on on communities and civil rights organizations. I think all of that public comment uh, would be very helpful. Uh, and then again, if confirmed, my my thought would be to work with uh, the colleagues to get that rule uh, in place uh, expeditiously. And do you think that the current economic conditions that we're seeing, the challenges uh, that they present, do you think that elevates the urgency, um, the need to modernize our approach with uh, implementing the CRA? Uh, thank you, Senator. Yes, I, I do think that uh, when there's a greater economic uncertainty, when there's a, a greater difficulty for people navigating uh, the uh, financial system, uh, it's important to have uh, certainty in these areas. Thank you very much. Um, in the interest of time, I am going to uh, cede back my time, and I recognize uh, Senator Lummis for five minutes.